Super Yacht multi -hose. Doesn't this term just roll off your tongue? We envision the world's jet set exotic locations along the Côte d'Azur and manicured crew lined up on the rail. Actually, what is a Super Yacht multi -hull? Hi, my name is Gregor Tarja and founder and owner of Aero Yacht multi -hull Specialists. In this episode 9 of our mini-series Catamarans, Arts and Science, I will discuss issues revolving around super yacht multi-hulls, how designers and builders shape them to their specific requirements and how they differ from a more conventional super yacht. We will briefly review my book I wrote on the subject and examine some outlandishly styled vessels, including our own in-house designed Aero Yacht 110. Finally, we will assess chartering and the project management process which oversees the build of such engineering marvels. For anyone interested, my book Catamarans Tomorrow's Super Yachts is the only one written on the subject and touches on the history, lifestyle and project management involving these amazing machines. Let us start from the beginning. Man has been living on this planet for well over a hundred thousand years and the boat and sail were one of our very first inventions about seven thousand years ago. Men of war and large sailing vessels from the age of exploration of the 15th century were probably the biggest feats of engineering other than the massive cathedrals of medieval times. Over the last several hundred years, sailing has transformed continents, colonized new worlds and has brought wealth or destruction to many. The fishing industry of the 19th century required speedy yet seaworthy vessels to bring the catch to market before the competition did. And out of this amazingly simple fact, yachting appeared on the scene. It was not long that the upper class modified fishing boats into personal luxury yachts and organized races. Today, a yacht over 100 feet, whether it be motor or sail, could be considered a super yacht. They are the ultimate status symbol of the ones who can afford it. A large yacht is a dream for many of us and the supreme lifestyle fantasy of balmy breezes and sailing off into the sunset. Let us focus on sailing multi hull super yachts. They of course come in different forms depending on their design emphasis. We at Aero Yacht represent two major yards, McConaughey boats and Sunreef yachts. Both have built some of the world's most impressive vessels. Listeners of this channel have probably seen my videos on Sunreef Yachts, the famous Polish builder of catamarans. They build very luxurious semi-custom multi hulls from 50 to 150 feet. The interiors are lavish, built from the highest quality materials and the accommodations are fully bespoke. Clients who own sun reefs are mainly interested in a high quality lifestyle aboard a beautifully finished, very spacious and stable sailing yacht. Our company has sold many of them and I have usually acted as a project coordinator for most builds. The other build that we represent are McConaughey boats. In fact, I'm sitting on one of them right now. This legendary yard is over 50 years old and they have crafted the world's most famous super yachts such as Alfa Romeo, Wild Oats and Adastra, just to name a few. McConaughey boats are elegantly engineered structures that house custom interiors and sail beautifully. They are typically laid out to be handled by a single operator. The new line of McConaughey semi-custom multi range from 53 to 130 feet. They represent cutting-edge design by some of the world's most illustrious yacht designers. Highlights of the McConaughey multi range are retractable centerboards, huge opening salon doors and side windows, as well as a Grand Prix sailing experience as no other multi that I know. Most super yachts are privately owned but chartered to offset their running expenses. They are run by a skilled big boat skipper and their top-notch crew are highly professional in keeping guests happy. Some of these boats rent for $150,000 a week or even more. Depending on the vessel's size and program, a management company runs the operations, charters and maintenance. Usually these large vessels are owned by a separate business entity or shell company which offers owners not only tax advantages but also a liability protection. Overseeing such a large construction from beginning to end takes trust, knowledge and patience. 
Often owners employ their skippers who know how to handle the boss's yacht, but this is only half the story. Design and yacht construction experience are imperative skills, but listening to the client, as well as liaising with the yard, are the most important skills in bringing a complex build to success. My nearly four decades of sailing on all types of craft, my schooling as a professional yacht designer and background in big boat building has helped me advise customers on many large super yacht multi-hull projects. At one point in my career, I was involved in the America's Cup legendary Stars and Stripes campaign as part of the design and build team. This amazing operation taught me invaluable lessons in design and cost compromises, but also in diplomacy and discretion. In my experience, a yacht that employs a project coordinator usually results in a better boat with a happier owner and shipyard. It often saves a lot of hassles and time. At the end, the monies that are saved often offset the relatively small cost of hiring the project manager. Why do we see more and more multi-hull super yachts? Just look at the commercial ferries and the military industry, market sectors where efficiency on all levels count. Today, the most cost-effective, fast and stable platforms to transport passengers from A to B by C are multi-hulls. Literal combat ships, fast attack Navy destroyers and even aircraft carriers are now going the multi-hull way. They simply eclipse their monohull counterparts in every department. They are faster, burn less fuel and can carry more loads. Yet they experience less motion at sea and are much more stable. The super yacht, be it motor or sail driven, benefit from these same principles. In my career, I've seen more and more large yacht owners replacing their boats with multi-hulls. For customers, the biggest benefits are not as much the fuel efficiency, but rather being able to have less crew, more volume, and a stable non-rolling platform. I'm 100% certain that we will witness this trend continue well into the future, and I'm looking forward to seeing even more innovative multi-hull designs. I hope that this episode offered some new insights and that you got some enjoyment by watching. A lot more information and technical articles are on our aeroyacht.com website and in my books on catamarans. You can purchase them via Amazon, the book depository and even in the form of ebooks. If you want to follow more episodes of our 22 part mini series as they become available, please make sure that you subscribe and like this channel so you do not miss any. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the water in a multi-hole.